Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So there's a lot of drama going on right now on social media. Once again, with everybody's favorite bootleg couple. On again, off again, Krishan and Blueface. So all of this mess started yesterday. If you guys don't know, we had made a post yesterday where Krishan basically wrote, you know, um, this message about her pregnancy. And she also shared a video because she is filming um, season two of Crazy in Love. And Blueface was there when she got her first ultrasound along with her mom, I think some other family members. So this is what Krishan wrote. She says, she's, I'm 20 weeks already, but when I seen the face of what was growing inside of me, I had to pray the fear away of being a mommy. I'm currently documenting with At Zeus Network, and it's super overwhelming because his pregnancy was planned, but now he don't see a future with me anymore. We, done, we both done things to each other that we lost trust, so I'm left with an option of aborting. I was surprised that I'm that far along, that there's no turning back from being a mommy. I instantly fell in love when I saw the face and heard the heartbeat. The bad thoughts like, I don't want to rock anymore. I don't want to be famous. I fucked up. I should have stayed in school. But I had to separate my heartbreak from the biggest thing that I prayed for in the beginning. I'm not going to move out of fear. I'm okay moving on. I'm okay letting go. Anything that's not for me. Having a child won't stop me from making money, learning, developing more love and time for myself. I don't need a dollar from anyone to be here for this child. I am blessed and highly favored, so that's the only thing that matters. I can't wait to show my journey through the ups and downs in this experience. Through it all, I'm going to win. So that is what Krishan wrote. She also posted this video, so y'all go ahead and check this out. So now, of course, Blueface took to social media to basically rain on her parade and say that he does not care. So he says this. I don't care for no sob story, Bia. This crip get to it. Then he says this Bia knew what time it was when she clocked in. So Krishan replies back and says, niggas ain't got no sob story. It's my testimony. And if I want to tell it how I want to tell it, let it be that. Fuck everybody that's got issues with me. Fuck a weird nigga that likes to tweet about a female he says I love you to every day. We gave each other that space, not let me be. I'm not them, I'm Krishan. Stop subbing about the bitch that live with you, get into it with you. We busy every weekend, casually picking up money. Niggas gotta stop being lame on social. Like I said, we either make this shit last, make it better, or just let this go and I'll try again on my own. I'm tired of taking disrespect from a nigga that's supposed to be motivating me to get more and shine more. So that is what she wrote on social media. So of course, everybody was weighing in. Um, then she ended up posting these text messages on social media as well. And um, it says, man, don't believe everything he's doing right now. He's doing all this over a baby he planned with me. On top of that, mad about me being a star. Then she also wrote in this corner, you canceled my trip because we got into it. Always took my blessings like candy if you didn't get your way with me. So then after that, Blueface decided to go visit his other baby mama, Jaden Alexis, and had a very interesting conversation with Jaden and his son. This whole situation is a mess. Y'all go ahead and check out this video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For sure, it's never going to be you. Yeah, be quiet. Hold on. Okay, it was never going to be you. I'm screw our crib up. <laughs> son, listen. listen be son. gone, baby, be gone. Just 
The bitch said, oh. yeah, I told I told Lemmy I'm thinking about doing Baddie's East. Tell Lemmy. I said, Baddie's East? Bitch, you pregnant. When, how you going to do Baddie's East? She said, oh, I don't think. I think they'll be shooting like after I had the baby already. I said, who going to watch the baby? <laughs> Me? <Ooh. laughs> Bitch, she says, you. Please. Son. Please. Son. What? Have I ever watched you for more than 24 hours? No. Yes. I probably have. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get I like that. This shit. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So after that video went viral, Blueface's mother also took to social media and she said this. Well, congratulations on being a ninja's second baby mama. May God bless the child. This is what the fans wanted so desperately for her life. Crying face emoji. So then after that, Krishan, you know, she wanted to blossom some steam. So she decided to go to the club with her friends. And um, this video was posted of her in the club having fun. And so when that video of her dancing went viral, Blueface took to social media and he said this, 20 weeks pregnant and y'all really think I want a baby with that? Let's be realistic. And he also went on to say, the whole shaking the baby around. Little cuz not even safe in the womb. I'm stressed out for real and y'all think it's funny. Then they went back and forth on another video. So she responds back and she says, so when I'm making money, he pulls up to turn up with me and my bookings and it's all fine. But as soon as I go out without him, he bashed me like, huh? Now let me break this down. You cool when she in the club with you throwing it in rotation, but the moment she's doing her, it's a problem. Get out your feelings. You mad about Boosie, we already know. Because if you guys look in that picture, she's dancing near Boosie, and people are saying that that's the real reason why Blueface is in his feelings. And he says this, don't have no baby with no man that don't want no damn baby. Bia says she don't want to be like my other baby mama, but she finna be like my other baby mama. How stupid can a bitch be? Then she says, you doing that, I love all my hoes because I was at the club and a nigga spoke to me out of respect. That shit crazy. What's the point of being famous or an artist? I don't be flirting or anything in they face. This shit is wild. Then she says, the petty thing, you had my location. You was at a house party. I didn't trip when I wasn't invited. I just went out with my friends. And turned up and you had my location. I was communicating the whole night. And you came to come get me after we was done turning up. We went home together. So once again, he's telling one side of the story. She's telling another side. Well, then earlier today, they take it to social media. They start making videos. Um, she's going in. She's stating her side. She's feeling like, you know, he's constantly playing games with her. At points, she's even thinking about still getting an abortion. The whole situation is a mess. And then eventually, she's accused of trying to burn down his home. So I want y'all to watch all these clips that I put together. Y'all go ahead and check this out. People try to publicly fuck with me for the wrong reasons. It's gonna be exposed. They gonna be it's gonna be exposed. Yeah, you feel me? Like, like no, that's just for the wrong, just the wrong reason or not. But like, I don't got that intentions in my heart, bro. Like, I didn't ask to be famous. It just happened. Be fucking with me. I didn't ask people to fuck with me. It happened. This nigga trying, and then that's why I be saying I fucked up. Cause where did I fuck up at? You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to fuck up. You can't really say you, you fucked up. Mm -hmm. Really fuck up. You, Bro, people fuck up. You know people fuck up. They just ignore their mistakes and then think just because they can ignore their mistakes, there will be a better outcome. I'm not the type of person. I'm looking at my mistakes. I know God going to cover me and give me grace and mercy. But like, all right, so let me really take accountability. I fucked up. So, still, I, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, but like you ain't, you didn't all the way fuck up. Like you still motherfucker shouldn't be this stressed the fuck out. A motherfucker shouldn't be crying like this on social media. A motherfucker shouldn't be even sweating nothing, nigga. I'm really that bitch, and I'm sweating over here for what? That shit is wild, bro. I fucked up somewhere, it's real shit. Mm -hmm. And if I'm boss enough to say uh, to take accountability, all right now. It's alright. It's gonna get fixed because I I know the truth. So now you can 
If I live in a delusional ass world, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Alright, then there's no room for change, no room for growth, none of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't learn from shit. Like, I, I, I think I did it right, so... No, I'm really saying I'm taking accountability where I fucked up at. Like, the bitch lied, the bitch lied. All right, bro. Is it worth to crash out on Instagram, though, for it? Like, he be, like, doing shit. For what? Like, you almost about to be 30. He be talking to me. You want to still act 18, but want to be 23. Nah, bro. <laughs> you about to be 30 and still acting 18. The fuck is you talking about? Just because you're a crip, you get a pass? No, what the fuck? Like, for example, like, say we were sitting in an interview, and if I'm talking too much, and then he watching, he like, ooh, you irritate the fuck out of me, bro. Why? Because I'm defending myself. You keep cornering me in these weird-ass situations when questions get brought up. Then I know my truth. I'm not about to speak on your truth, nigga. Like, I want to. I have my own voice. How you have your own voice? Explain how you explain it over there. And then it ain't making me look good. So it's, it, let's be honest. Let's be honest on both ends. And then when I get to be honest, this nigga hate it. Like, he fucking hate it. He like, bitch, you're weird. You're this, you're that. You're supposed to do this and this and that. One thing about it, Lou, I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of none of that shit. I ain't scared to lose you because I'm not going to lose you. I love you. Fuck. Fuck the baby. God forgive me, but that's... I'm saying, like, that's not going to keep a nigga. I'm not saying it. Like, he got two kids and... You see how that went. So I'm saying like that don't that don't what? Man, yeah, I'm not saying yeah. Save him, deal, make him stay. I really had to keep this baby for me, like. We should have never planned it. What the fuck was we planning for you? We wrapped out, whatever, cool. We got down to the nitty gritty. If I'm having an abortion or not. Because I was going to do it because how he was just so, like, he was so, ugh, I ain't one of niggas just, like, I'm not finna have your kid if you want to kill me. So, but we planned it this time, so it's different. So we get to that damn clinic, and that's why I was so uncomfortable, like, I didn't want my mother touching me or none of that, like, I'm ready to kill this baby, I'm, I'm ready to kill this baby, I made up my motherfucking mind, right? So, okay. I made up my mind, and then when I got there, I seen the heartbeat, the face, I just trembled, like, I just fell, like, my, I, I, that's what I just, uh, shit. Nobody complaining about that because he's not with that other baby mom like that, I guess, you get what I'm saying, like, so, he carrying it how he carrying it over there because they not together, they don't live together. Stop trying to spin a scenario that's not even happening right now. What, when I had this baby, this is when you start acting like how you're acting? Then what do you mean? Stop saying you're going to like be somewhere else. Like I'm going to be over here waiting for you. I'm going to be somewhere else trying to get myself together. And have fun and live my life how I'm supposed to live it. I'm not finna be. Oh, so I had this kid, so I'm gonna sit over here and just wait for him. Uh, uh, no. If he over there with such and such and won't be over there with such and such, we're gonna have to talk about that because I'm a human being. I deserve to be nurtured and loved 24 7. Just like he do. So, if I'm not getting it from you, where's it going to come from? I'm just going to hope to God that you're going to change? No. Because if I did, if I, if, like, what the fuck? Eventually, over time, when you abandon somebody, that person finds somebody else. Like, stop trying to threaten me. Threaten me with abandonment to make me what? 
That shit weird. The bitch is so dumb. She said, the baby's not going to stop me from going on the road and getting money and hustling and doing what I need to do. I said, who going to watch the baby while you on the road hustling? She said, I'm going to have an on the road nanny. Bitch, if you think you finna take my newborn baby from the day she born to the day she's at least three years old on a road anywhere, on a plane, on a tour bus for longer than 48 hours, you're smoking dick. <laughs> Bitch, this is a baby. They have ear problems, easy sicknesses, easy sinuses. Bitch, you're finna be at home in the house, trapped, locked in with a baby. And when I leave the house, you're going to be at home with the baby. It's, I'm not telling the bitch to get an abortion for me. I'm telling her to get an abortion for her. She's not ready. So earlier today, I'm picking this bitch brain. And I'm just trying to figure out what's the game plan, right? She telling me about baddies, yeast, and all this shit. So I'm like, you finna have a baby. Like, what are you going to do? Like, you're, you're going to be in charge of the baby. I'm not in charge of the baby. Everybody knows when women have babies, they're destined to be the nurturing, caring, in charge of the baby, right? This bitch keeps saying, I'm going on the road. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to keep hustling. I'm looking at the bitch like, who's going to be watching the baby while you're doing this? Bitch says she's going to have an on the road nanny. I said, yo, look, once you have this baby, bitch, your world stops. The baby comes first. Everything you want to do <laughs> comes after that. She's like, no, 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 the baby's not going to stop my world. I'm going to keep going out and doing these hostings. Bitch, no, you're not. You're a crip. Unless you want me to use full custody of the baby, you're going to. What's that called? Like, I'm, no, I'm not in the right state of mind or no to take care of baby. You take care of my son. Nigga, I'm taking care of him <laughs> and his kids. That hurts. Like, okay, let's get us that what way. is you so talking I'm about? Keep my spirit soft. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? Take care of the baby and the thing. Now, what you, is he talking about? Having a village around you so that you can still move. And what is he talking about? Around you with the baby. Yeah, he mad about listen. all these motherfucking big people. When he had his shine, nobody stopped him. When he did that collab with Cardi, when he did that collab with all them other people that he, when he first was coming up because his label was putting him on game with these relationships. Yeah, right. Nobody stopped him. Nobody was hating. The only people that was hating was his baby mother. So where did he got her now? In an apartment. Somewhere else. Because she was his hater. Now he's my hater. Trying to play with me and my character. Trying to shit on me. I don't even know what to do. But ask for my money. Like, yo, we got no paperwork. What is it? Like, just hand it over. i leave you alone. He like, bitch, you stuck. What? Stuck where? <laughs> what is wrong with you, kid? That's what you gonna do with a newborn baby on the way? Set the house on fire. This bitch is dumb. Look how dumb the bitch is. This must be your first time trying to set some shit on fire, huh? You're supposed to put it in the bathtub so you don't burn up in the fire. How stupid can a bitch be? Bitch, a kid herself. You leave her too by herself too long, she just start fucking shit up. Ash everywhere. Bitch, like a, a, a six year old. You leave a six year old by by herself, you gonna come home, your shit gonna be cut up, burnt up, broken up. Door gonna be broken. The bitch is strange, cuz.
Don't understand it. House smell like fire and smoke. I don't think you in you inhaling all this smoke and ash is good for your for your child. Got to be smarter than that. Look everywhere. Nigga trying to get the new glass stairs upgrade. This hoe ain't gonna set shit on fire. The bitch tried to turn the smoke detector off. <laughs> The bitch hopped on the table to turn the smoke detector off. Man, child protective custody gonna have a ball with you. I must say, you making this very too much easily. When you have a kid and you set a fire anywhere in the child's vicinity. Can't teach this kind of shit, cat. This shit. Bitch, unplugged Wi-Fi thinking the smoke detector was going to turn off. Oh, my God. Bitch, you unplugged the Wi-Fi, cat? All right, so you guys just saw all of those videos. So like I say, this entire situation is disturbing. But at this point, I'm not shocked anymore. This whole clown show is insane. And unfortunately, you have children that are involved in this. You got Blueface, including his son, in grown folks conversations. You have a baby that did not ask to be here that's being born into a bunch of chaos and nonsense. That's the next question. Why is he so blue? When could y'all go get a baby from you? Ask the next question. Mm -hmm. He's trying to do it now. Why can't you just say it? Say what? I'm shooting. I'm just say you shooting your shot. I'm shooting in the gym, cuz I stay in the gym practicing. <laughs> you know I mean? Give me a kiss. I stay in the Come here, Daddy. I stay shooting. Daddy, come here. You know, but at this point, until she's tired and she decides to leave, I'm not wasting my energy anymore. These two are draining. They are toxic. And they need to get up out this situation. And now you guys are setting fires? Like, this is insane. Like, this is not a love story. This is toxicity. And the sad part is you got so many young people looking up to them as relationship goals. There's nothing relationship goalish, if that's a word, about this situation. You know, we've seen the same thing happen with Lisa Left Eye Lopez, you know, and Andre Risen, where Lisa almost burnt down his house. Arson is not a joke. You know, there's neighbors around there. You know, there's pets in the household. Like, this entire situation is sad. There's nothing but red flags. And they both need to, at this point, separate from each other before they end up seriously hurting one another. So on that note, tea sippers, I leave the question up to y'all. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Krishan and Blueface, I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.